Just a couple of clouds here in view through the lens of our downtown Dallas Tower camera. Temperatures, well, pretty typical for this time of the year. A little haze there you can see. We're currently sitting at, uh, well, the 90s uh, across the Dallas-Fort Worth area. 95 in Dallas, 92 Fort Worth, 93 Mesquite, 92 degrees presently in Denton. Winds are blowing out of the south-southeast at 15. Our dew point is up at 67. And that is uh, one measure that's keeping temperatures a bit in check. The higher the humidity is, uh, the more difficult it is for the uh, air temperature to warm up. And it's that high humidity in part that's going to keep us, I think, from reaching the century mark here the next few days. Here's your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. A lot of sunshine through this evening. 92 at 7 o'clock, 90 degrees uh, to 8 o'clock. And as we uh, see the sunset tonight, we'll see temperatures slowly cool down in the middle 80s at 9 o'clock, right around 84 degrees by 10 o'clock tonight. So clear and warm overnight tonight. High humidity, as I said, should keep us just shy of the century mark. So it looks like we're going to have to wait a little while to officially see our first 100 degree day. And then there could be a few isolated storms possible for Father's Day weekend. I think we're primarily talking about late Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. 93 was the high today, 91. The average for this time of the year, 103, a record high for today. Pollen count continues to come down, just 16 today for grass. And that UV index in the extreme range at 11. Now, temperatures overnight tonight will be falling back into the uh, low to mid 70s by early on Thursday morning. And then we'll tack on another couple degrees to those afternoon high temperatures tomorrow in most locations. Right around 5 o'clock, we'll be sitting at 96 here in Dallas. 96 Corsicana, 96 degrees in Mineral Wells, and about 97 in Bridgeport. All we're currently seeing are a few of these sea breeze showers, which generate down near the coast. They make it just past Interstate 10, and then they fizzle out very quickly. That's pretty typical to see that uh, this time of the year, although some heavy thunderstorms heading for San Antonio. And the Storm Prediction Center earlier today issuing a high risk, pretty rare, High risk for severe weather across northern Illinois, northern Indiana, and extreme eastern Iowa. In fact, we've got a tornado watch here in effect uh, for Iowa into southwestern Wisconsin. And eventually these storms could evolve into a complex, something we call a day ratio, that could bring wind gusts of 75 miles per hour higher across a widespread area. I've got the long-range future cast here because the next couple of days, Thursday and Friday, will be sunny, dry, and warm. But as an upper-level low is allowed to head through West Texas and then on up into Oklahoma on Saturday into early Sunday, that could be close enough to bring us a few isolated showers and thunderstorms about midway into the upcoming weekend. Here's your seven-day forecast. A lot of sunshine out there tomorrow, 97 degrees. 97 again on Friday with partly to mostly sunny skies. On Saturday, as the high pushes east and that upper level low is allowed to head just to our west, that could be close enough with the heating of the day to pop a few isolated showers and storms late Saturday into Saturday night. I think that low will move out on Father's Day. We'll heat it up to 95 and mid to upper 90s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week.